Jameson 18-year triple distilled Irish whiskey. Should this be on your wish list? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. What up, my whiskey freaks? Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you an Irish whiskey. This is a triple distilled Irish whiskey. It's 18 years old, and that is Jameson 18-year Irish whiskey. Let's uh, let's get that poured. Make sure I don't break that cork. There we are, and into the Whiskey Whistle glass. Hope you're well. It's getting cold here in Winnipeg, like everywhere. All right, so Jameson 18-year Irish whiskey. Jameson, of course it's ubiquitous. I'm sure you've tried Jameson before. And if you haven't, I would highly recommend you check it out because that's kind of a classic style of Irish whiskey. And here we have the 18-year-old version, 40% ABV. We have two types of casks involved. We have American oak, and we have European oak, probably a mix of ex-bourbon, of um, uh, refill casks, and maybe a little bit of, uh, of sherry casks involved here as well. All right, so here on Whiskey Whistle again, my name is Mark, hope you're enjoying yourself. We're gonna check out the color of the whiskey, then we'll check out the legs, what type of legs does Jameson 18 have? Then we'll have a look at the nose, the palate, and the finish both neat and with a couple drops of water to see how it changes and how it develops. And then we'll give it a whiskey whistle, whiskey score. Hopefully that sounds great. And if so, hey, why not subscribe to the channel? The link is right over here. It says click to subscribe and then hit the bell, ding, ding, so that you're notified of future whiskey whistles. And if you're enjoying what I do and you're, you're enjoying the content, you're binging on whiskey whistle, um, or maybe you're just getting into it, why not join me on Patreon and support the channel? Patreon.com forward slash Whiskey Whistle. Check it out. And uh, for my patrons who uh, support me on Patreon, they get their name in the credits at the end of each video, and they also get advanced viewing of future Whiskey Whistles. Last but not least, they'll get a Whiskey Whistle glass once they've reached a certain threshold of, uh, of patronage around about three or four dollars, and then I'll get that to you this winter. All right, so color, first of all, we've got a straight up amber hue, and for sure, this is color enhanced. So that's not fully natural color, and it'd be so nice if Jameson would move away from the use of color, that's for sure, it would be great. Also, it's 40% ABV, and Today's whiskey drinkers, I think 43 is the new minimum bar. 46 is great. Get over that 43, and um, I think people really appreciate that. All right, so the legs of Jameson 18. So the first legs kind of sheet down, and then now we're looking at the secondary legs. And they're moving along at a fairly brisk pace. They're a little bit watery looking. And I don't expect to have a fantastic mouthfeel from the Jameson 18. But uh, let's give it a fair chance. And we'll see how it is. All right, so the nose. Super fresh, just like you expect an Irish whiskey to be. and it's bright and it's crisp and we have some really interesting dry oak spices coming through there we've got some some dry white pepper we have a little bit of a little bit of cardamom it's a little bit a uh, little bit floral esque we have some Interesting, lightly marzipan filled pastry going on with a, a good amount of a lemony kind of a pastry icing. And we have some candy shop um, spearmint like um, lifesavers. We have some um, some scotch mints, pardon me. 
And some of those um, kind of melt in your mouth grandma mints, they're kind of like tubular and they're almost break, they kind of break apart really easily. And I've got a little bit of um, really nice sweet summer cucumber and a little bit of mm, underripe strawberry going on here. So really, really interesting. Slightly green, slightly minty, slightly sweet. Okay, onto the palette. Cheers, folks. Mmm. Vanilla coated yumminess. It's it's got a zingy character to it. Really, really bright, crisp. Um, icing sugar like flavor um, sprigs of, of mint sort of scattered amongst all those flavors a little bit of fresh parsley now 40% ABV it does have a bit of waxiness but if you're a diehard whiskey fan You'll enjoy the flavor, but I don't think you'll appreciate the um, the strength, the oomph, the the kick of uh, of this whiskey. But what it lacks in ABV, it's making up in flavor. Some fresh green apple. The finish is surprisingly long. Spicy, white pepper, a little bit of um, candied ginger, some green apple skins, and it's unmistakably Irish whiskey. And if you have never tried Irish whiskey before, And you maybe you have tried single grain Scotch whiskey. I can draw some similarities there. So with water, you can get a little bit of um, silly putty smell and a little bit of newsprint. The dryness has really ramped up here. And I've got some, some fresh apples, but also some hmm, applesauce. Like um, it's left to oxidize to, um, <clears throat> to, to, to do that little bit of, what is it called? Um, rusting on the apple. But right now, big, red, delicious, juicy apple. Not a delicious apple. A, a delicious, big, red, like Macintosh apple. Hmm. The palate doesn't need the water. But it really brings out that appleiness. And I think, I think maximum three, four drops would be ideal for you know, 20 or 30 milliliters. I think I went a little bit water heavy there. And it is delicate. It's very flavorful. Um, it is just so different from Scotch whiskey or American whiskey or Canadian. But again, something similar with single grain. With water, the finish is about the same. Maybe not quite as dry. Final sip here. It's enjoyable. And 
and I like it. And it's a big improvement upon the standard, uh, standard Jameson. But is it $200 good? Well, first of all, let's get into the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Jameson 18 year old. What is that going to be folks? It's going to be 85 out of 100. You heard it, 85 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Jameson 18. To answer that question, is it worth $200? And my answer as a, as a whiskey freak, as a whiskey lover, my answer is no. If you are an Irish whiskey fan and uh, you started with Jameson, which probably most of you did if, if you're from that part of Ireland, then you're going to want to get that every winter, every Christmas. I think that would be something you'd love to share with your friends and your family. And I think everybody will love it and they'll all talk about how fantastic it is. But then you go and you get something like Kilbegan Pot Still. It's got just so much fruit. Just, oh, it's just so fruity. Of course, it's a pot still and that's different, but uh, it's again, we're talking like a third, even a quarter of the price, about a third, about a third of the price. And I think day to day, you'll enjoy that much more. Uh, I guess I'll have to review Kilvegan um, single pot sometime soon. I've got a whole pile of Irish whiskey I need to get through. But uh, anyway, so 85 points. Let me know your thoughts of Jameson 18. Leave a comment below and you know, if if you want to swear at me, if you want to tell me that I'm I'm ridiculous and I don't know Irish whiskey, let me have it. But I got to tell you, this is weak sauce. <laughs> um, a, a beautiful looking bottle. I like the little uh, effect. It's kind of like um, uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label. But I think something needs to be improved here. And I think you can start with ABV. Make it 43% and I'll review it again. So thanks for watching again. My name is Mark. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, at Whiskey Whistle. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments below and uh, we'll see you very soon. Bye now.